welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. And of course, it is the 15th of January 2024. I'm your guide to everything crypto, Nikki Roshini. Let's jump straight into the headlines. Coming up, Coinbase partners with Yellow Card to pioneer crypto expansion in Africa. Shifting gears, $15 billion XRP, Transpar revealed as a failed exploit. More updates as Celsius swiftly moves $125 million in Ether. Two exchanges amidst FTX and Alameda sell-off spree. Finally, assuring Indian users, Binance ensures safety amid crypto exchange ban. Upcoming events and more to come, but quickly on the market trades today, Bitcoin is at $42,000, Ethereum is at $2,000, BNB is at $313, Solana is at $95, and those scenario rates are still above a thousand naira to a dollar. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. Diving straight into the news, in Africa, Coinbase has teamed up with Yellowcard, a leading African fintech, to enhance access to its services across 20 African nations. Now, the focus is on boosting accessibility to the USD coin, stablecoin. This collaboration aims to revolutionize Africa's financial landscape by integrating Yellowcard's payment rails. Through Coinbase Wallet, African users can now convert fiat currency to Bitcoin and USD coin on the Ethereum Layer 2 roll-up base. Now, the integration accessible via popular social media platforms addresses economic challenges in Africa, offering a more viable solution for transactions. Now, Yellowcard, MERS, then highlighted stablecoin's potential impact addressing real-world issues for individuals and businesses in Africa. Next up, a reported $15 billion XRP transaction to Bitfinex on the 14th of January turned out to be a failed partial payments export. Now that was according to Bitfinex CTO Paolo Adonio. Initially flagged by Will Alert, the blockchain tracking account later deleted the post, citing an issue with reading the Ripple node response. Aldonio then explained on X, formerly Twitter, that someone attempted to attack Bitfinex through a partial payments exploit, with the would-be attacker anticipating the exchange had incorrectly configured its software to process partial payments. In recent developments, struggling crypto lender Celsius has moved over $125 million in Ether to exchanges over the past week, intending to start repaying creditors. Between the 8th of January and the 12th of January, of course, $95.5 million went into Coinbase and $29.7 million to Falcon X as per Arkham Intelligence. Now, despite this, Celsius still holds over 55,000 Ether valued at $1.36 billion. On the 5th of January, the company unstaked 206,300 Ether worth $407 million, stating it would be used to cover restructuring costs and prepare for creditor repayments. Finally, in today's news wrap up, Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, reassures its Indian users amid the country's ban on foreign crypto exchanges. Now, the challenge seems specific to Apple store access, but Binance emphasizes the safety of accounts. Now, this follows the delisting of non-cryptocurrency providers, including KuCoin and OKX, from Apple's App Store, leading to website blocks. Now, the ban enacted on the 12th of January 2023 by India's Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Mitwai, aims to curb alleged money laundering and non-compliance with cryptocurrency laws. Now, Google also removed the apps from its Play Store as well. Now, the Financial Intelligence Unit, FIU, has issued notices to the exchanges on the 28th of December, citing operations without necessary permits. The ministry, following recommendations, directed the blocking of URL access to these platforms. Finally, on blockchain events to come, Quantum Miami 2024. 
Quantum Miami 2024 is set to take place in Miami, of course, Florida, from the 24th of January to the 26th. Now, in its 11th year, Miami Blockchain Week promises an authentic experience at Quantum Miami, the gritty underbelly of the crypto world, where past and future collide. Presenting Quantum Miami, the gritty underbelly of the crypto world, where its past was paved and its future will be forged. Now that wraps up this week's cryptocurrency news here on Crypto TV Plus. If you're hungry for more juicy market updates and the latest buzz in the blockchain and cryptocurrency space, head over to our website at CryptoTVPlus.com and catch us on our social media as well as we are on Facebook and X at Crypto TV Plus, on Instagram as well at Official Crypto TV Plus. Don't miss out on our daily scoop by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Now hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop. And hey, got burning questions about any of our stories or any of our news at all? Drop them in the comment section below and let's get the conversation started. Big thanks for tuning in. I'm once again, Nikki Roshini, and until next time, stay crypto savvy.